Okay, so what we have is uh, find the length of the side mark X in each of the triangle. Give your answers correct to one decimal place. Okay, so in the first thing I need to do is I need to decide if I'm using sine, cos, or tan. So I write down where I am at the top. I have uh, three options. I have uh, sine as an option, cos as an option, and then basically tan as an option. Right. So I have three options. So I have to figure out which option I'm using. I'm not able to use Pythagoras' theorem. Can I explain why I'm not able to use Pythagoras' theorem for these questions? I only know one side. I don't know two. If I know two sides and I have to get the other one, Pythagoras' theorem is great. I only know one side of one angle, so I'm no longer able to do that. Okay, so I make a list. This is the adjacent, and this one here is the opposite. And then I figure out which one I'm going to use. Which one am I going to use? Toa. Toa or tan. Okay, so tan 29. Tan 29. Equals uh, x over six. Is every accurate that? Yeah. Opposite divided by adjacent. Goal of the question is get x on its own. Now to sum that we need to explain here. See tan tan cos sine angle. This is its own entity. This is its own number. Okay. So when you cross multiply up to six, okay, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be 6 multiplied by tan 29. What you're not allowed to do, and we really need to get this into people's heads, is that it's going to be 6, 6 tan 29 equals x. Okay? Now, what I'm trying to get is you're not allowed to multiply this 6 by the angle here. The angle always stays the same. Is everybody happy with that? Yep. This angle is protected and you do not multiply it by anything. It's its own number and all, the only time you're going to change that is when you put it into the calculator. So you're looking for 6 tan 29 in the calculator. So 6 tan 29 and what you get here is 3.33. Everybody happy with that? Or 3.3 to one decimal place. Now. Can anybody tell me what is the next one? What function do I use this time? Anybody want to tell me? Uh, tan. tan once again, isn't it? Opposite and adjacent. So this time we're going to have uh, we're going to use tan 48. What does tan 48 equal? Sorry? x over 15 and what was the x over 15? Multiply 15 up so enter 15 tan 48 into the calculator tell me what x is so 16.66 and to one decimal place James 16.7 is everybody happy enough with those ones? No, no, I already found X. It says just put X. And I found what X is. So no, you don't have to. Okay, now. Sir? Yes, James. Because uh, people forget the, you're better off uh, using the rule that you know off the heart and moving it up. You know, busy, very few people would do that. Uh, just do out the steps and you'll find it works out better long term. Okay. Uh, guys, these ones are right. Find the measure of each of the angles, mark P, Q and R in each of the triangles. Uh, give each answer correct to the nearest degree. Anybody have any idea how to do this? each angle to the nearest degree. Do what you always do. Just make a list and use whichever one you can use. So which one do you think we can use for the first one? What two sides do we know? We know the adjacent and we know the 
partners. Da has made the decision for our real estate. It's going to be cars. Cars what guys? Cars P. It's always cars at the angle we're talking about. And cars P equals what? P equals adjacent over partners, which is 5 over 13. The goal of the question is to find each answer, each angle on its own. So how you need P on its own. Now there's only one way to separate cos and an angle. Anybody know this way? How would you separate cos and the angle P? It's a special operation. Huh? Cos inverse. And what you get this time? Cos inverse 5 over 13. Anybody? 67 degrees. Sorry? 67 degrees. 67 degrees. To the nearest degree. People happy enough with that? Okay. Now, what about the next one, part two? What can you tell me about this one? Part two. Are we using sine, cos, or tan? Huh? That's the opposite. And this one? O and H. Sin. We're using sin. Sin what? What goes beside the sin? Sin Q, because you're talking about the angle it equals? Uh, 10 over 25. 10 over 25. And now what? I uh, bring 25 over. Uh, no, you're looking for Q on its own. Uh, What's the only way to separate sin and Q? Uh, sin, uh, you bring it over here. Sin inverse. Sin inverse. So sin inverse 10 over 25. 24 degrees, yeah? Why are you thinking of them so far? They're all right. If you're looking for an angle, you're going to have to use either sin inverse, cos inverse, or tan inverse. When you're looking for the angle. When you're not looking for the angle, you're just going to cross multiply and use your calculator. Okay? So, let's try another one. These ones here. Now, this time around, We'll take a. Uh, we won't do question one. We've already done one. We've already done one similar to part one. Let's try part two. Anybody have any idea how to do part two? Hands up if you know how to do part two. Or even start it off would be great. So you're looking to find out the length of B. What is the length P? Well, guys, somebody's got a good idea. Sean? Okay, he's identified the opposite as B and the hypotenuse as 72 and he's and he's decided therefore to use sin which is perfect. Sin what? 48. 48 equals? Now, can I know I'm not using sin inverse in this question? It's not asking for an angle, and you already have sine of 48, which you can put directly into the calculator anyway, it's no bother. So, where does this 72 go? Where? It goes up in front of the sin, becomes 72 sin 48, and what do you get then? 53. Point five. This one's done the same way. It's also a sin one, isn't it? So same thing. I know the major here. Move on. Yeah. Okay. And finally, number twelve. Now, what I always ask is, uh, we need to find what PS is. Okay. How many triangles do you see? Three. 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 We only have certain weapons at our disposal, don't we? We have to use right angle triangles, don't we? Yeah. So we have to use Pythagoras' theorem, or we can use sine, cos, or tan. In the triangle to the left, our target is PS. This here is therefore our target. Which triangle does that belong to? Uh, 
the one on the left. On the triangle on the left, do we know any angles? Yeah. No. Apart from 90. No. We only know one angle, don't we? And therefore, sine, cos, and tan are real there. We're not going to use them for this part. Do you know 7.5 is not an angle, it's a length. So we know two lengths, though, which is Sean just pointed out there a second ago. 7.5 and 3.2. Can anybody tell us how we can find out what PS is? Protagoras' theorem. So tell me what to write down. Uh, X squared right, equals 3.3 squared plus yeah. 7.5 squared. And then what do we get? Everybody into the calculator with that 3.2 squared, 7.5 squared, square root it. 10.24. That is fast. So you got x equals 10.24. Can you just square that out so we can just have the middle part? is 100 point something, wasn't it? Before you square root it. What's 3.2 squared plus 7.5 squared? Well, um, 56.25 is 7.5. And then the other one? I think 10.24 is just a bit too big. Yeah, that's only 3.2. So that's cheap. Oh, sorry. That's, oh, you understand. That's 10.4 plus this one. 56.25. Oh, I get it now. And then you add the two of them together and you get 66.65. There you go. Square root that. So what's the square root? And then a square root. Anybody? 8.16. Uh, square that is 8.16. Okay, so this length here is 8.16. Is it 10.24? Okay, if it's 10.24, then I just took it down wrong, and then that's going to be 66.49. And when you square root 66.49? 8.16. One five. Okay. So it's now eight point one five instead of eight point one six. Okay? Now it's good to be accurate. Now guys, uh, find the angle S Q S R Q. Which angle is S R Q? You go from S to R to Q. So if I always do this, I always go join S to R, then join R to Q, and whichever one is the angle. The middle one usually, always, to be honest. So we define this angle here. Anybody in the class tell me how to find that angle there? We would have done it a second ago. Not the Texas term. The last question before this one. If we're, if we're finding an angle, what are we guaranteed to use? Inverses. We're either going to use sin inverse, cos inverse, or tan inverse, hence Pythagoras' theorem. I'm not going to get used now, okay? Anybody, make it, anybody tell me what I need to do? Tan What are you going to call this? Tan. But the angle? B. All right, call it B. So what are we going to use? He said tan B. And um, um, tan of this angle equals what, guys? What's the opposite? The opposite. Uh, 3.2 3 .2 is the opposite, the adjacent. Uh, the adjacent. 4. Four. How do you figure out what B is? So, summing tan inverse 3.2 over 4 for me. Say so what's called? 38.66 degrees. Okay, guys.